That is one beefy door. Finally, it is done. Wraith is in its new home. We are ready to go camping all year round. I always try to park as straight as I can in this garage. So something I was thinking about doing is painting a line on the floor over here. That way I can be straight in line every time. I'm not sure how crooked it is. It looks like it's a little crooked. So I'm gonna use my handy laser measure. Let's we'll see where we're at. Uh, two feet, nine inches. About halfway down. Oh, two feet, 10 inches. I'm off to the back. Uh, two feet, 11 inches. That's just disappointing. Getting all set, head out on the road for another camping trip. It is mid-December, next week is Christmas. So this is what we're seeing. It snowed. We got a couple of inches uh, between yesterday and the day before. Yeah, you ready to go camping? Oh, I know. You're excited too. Okay, let's go. Made it. I love that city horn. Got another wraith in the convoy. And a Chevy. these two ready to go for a walk. Oh, guys. <laughs> so beautiful, peaceful. I don't think it would be this enjoyable if there wasn't snow. <laughs> the snow actually makes it feel more peaceful. Beautiful. <laughs> Mike is parking the Jeep. <laughs>
allowing that to happen especially well guy says nap he's taking one with you yep. piper's is here for the food because i'm going to start making some beef stew and pecan pie <laughs> beef stew is cooking right now in the pot i just have an onion carrots celery bell pepper and two pounds of beef uh, chunks for stew and they're just kind of cooking down I've added in all my potatoes. Now I'm just gonna let it simmer. I'm gonna add in some milk, some spices, and that's almost pretty much about it. It just has to cook for a couple of hours just like this and kind of uh, make these boys' stomachs growl. Because we are winter camping, we wanted to get ourselves a little dehumidifier because when you're in an RV in the winter, Everything gets very condensation-y. So we picked up this one right here on Amazon, Lenovi. And we just started to use it last night, right out of the box. They did say to give it some time for at least like 24 hours for it to like break in. So you can see down here, you have this little bubbles of water. So it is working. Barely. Barely, but it is doing its thing. It hasn't even finished its break-in period, so can't really complain too much yet. It was very inexpensive. Uh, I want to say like 40 bucks. Probably. So we'll let you know how it works out. The stew is looking and smelling so good. I added in two cups, uh, probably close to three cups of milk and six tablespoons of flour to give it this nice thick consistency. And it is tender. Everything is almost ready to eat. Put up in the convection. I've got a pie going. Pecan pie and beef stew. That's a combination that is pretty hard to beat. Ooh, just pulled it out of the convection and it is looking delicious. Just gonna let it air cool because I'm gonna share it with everyone. I must say though, as much as Mike and I really despise or not enjoy winter, we are really enjoying camping when it's cold and there's a little bit of snow on the ground so we're actually kind of hoping that we can do this when there's more snow so that maybe we can do other activities maybe snowmobile maybe hike or ski or something cool like that so we are pretty happy that we've got this wraith now because we can camp year-round and the wraith has been performing really well in these cold temperatures Hi. Look at that, you're so fancy. He's like, Mom, I need one of these. Yeah. Oh, but look at Piper. She's a little more spoiled over there. <laughs> like, I'll just stand. Good girl. Now this face, I love it. I love it. <laughs> we got Kenny. At uh, like oh. five o'clock or something p.m. on Saturday. Yeah. What up, bro? I'm just gonna go to bed. Man, Coach, man, this is good. Man, Coach, I've been up since seven thirty. I don't know what he twelve hours in. <laughs> <laughs> While well, you're here. Hey, Coach, I don't know where they were. I gotta show you the picture I took this morning when I got up. I was gonna send it to you, but I'm glad I did, because he was like, hell, you sent me the picture 12 hours ago, hell, what happened to these 12 hours? And hey, you see how I backed it up? Yeah. You know, you shouldn't stay over there by us. You don't want to stay by everybody else? Hey. I come, yeah, I come, I come kick it with y'all. It's a spot over there, now I gotta go through this again. 
There's all kinds of spots over there. But I got a background like you. Uh, well, I don't know I could do it twice like this in one day, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you can stay here if you want, I'm oh, just no, saying. I'll come, no, I'll, come, I'll, come, I'll come kick with the team. All right. I'm coming. I mean, long as, I mean if, if it's difficult, but you got to do it. I ain't about to... I can't keep on ripping this wheel, but I ain't got the wrist. <laughs> <laughs> How you feeling, Coach? Good. Yeah, we'll help you out. Okay. Keep away from me. Of course, it's uh, raining out. We did not escape the rain. We're all just toughing it out. You can kind of see it in the camera falling down. We got our fire going. Got the fire going nice and big, not putting us out. Well, it's been uh, over a day or more. Yeah. This is the amount of water it's collected. Not as much as uh, we were hoping for, but it did collect some. So I guess it's working. I would not recommend you purchase that. It's what I call a POS. <laughs> well, it's made for RVs and that's why I got it because it's small. It is a very decent size for a small space. So. I'm going to keep on using it, but uh, hopefully it'll get better. Not so sure. A Sunday, almost afternoon. Kenny is still here. Mike and Joni, those who claim together are gone. Jeff and Lindy are gone. Jeep's in the road because we're getting ready to hook up. Roger and Laura are hooking up and everyone's going to be gone. Except for we have seen no sign of life from Kenny's trailer. So who knows when he will get out of here, but we may all may be gone by that time. Hi, Bur, you ready to go? Bye bye. Where are you guys? Ready to go? Bye bye. Okay, let's go. Let's go. We are leaving. The only one left from the group is Kenny and the golf cart. <laughs> here it's been an awesome weekend here at Mohegan State Park again but you don't have to worry about us leaving you without any more camping videos for a long period of time because we are headed out later this week again and we may be going for a little longer than normal so stay tuned thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video like subscribe share and we'll see you later yeah.